This is how to create Google Forms and add collaborators. So right now I'm in my Google Drive, which I can get to through my Waffle. And if I'm here, I'm gonna click this new plus button. And if I go to more, we'll see Google Forms. I can either open a blank form where I have total control or I can open from a template. Either way is fine. The templates are worth exploring. They already have some things laid out for you and you just have to um, fill in the blanks. Otherwise, we're going to create a blank form so we have more control. So here we have our practice form. Whoopsies. Our practice form. So we titled it and if I click up here, that title will automatically transfer. I can organize it up here so I can make sure that it's organized in my drive and add it to a certain folder. And if I click this button up here, these three little dots, I can add collaborators. So these are people I want to help me edit this form and make sure it looks really good before I send it out for people to fill in. So I'm going to add, let's add Monica. So I'm going to send that and allow Monica to edit this with me. She's an editor, so she can add questions and organize it and change things. And she can help me make it perfect. So that is how to create a Google form and add a collaborator. If you're in your Google Drive from this waffle, you can also go to your forms which will show you all of the Google Forms that you've created or that are shared with you. So you can see here all the forms that you've been working on or that you've created. And up here at the top, you have all of these different templates that you can work on. So if you want to use it as an exit ticket, what a great way to open it up. And you just have to change and edit the things that are there in order to make it your own. So play around with those templates. Go ahead and practice opening up and sharing a Google form. And then we'll have a couple more videos showing you some more details. Thanks very much for watching.